Welcome back to Dragon Age 2. We have, I think, maybe two or three tasks left, left to do before we finish up Act 1. So, let's get one out of the way right now. And here's one of the most despicable characters in all of the Dragon Age universe right here. Here, miss. Word is you're looking for help. And paying well. I need someone native to the dark places beneath Lowtown. If you claim as much, yes, I will pay. I am, I am. Let's just step into this alley and me and my fellows can have a look at the money on offer. She has chosen poorly. Could save hundreds of lives by just walking away here. Can you save someone so intent on being foolish? Oh, excuse me. Well, thank you for your timely intervention. I am out of my element. Surely you didn't realize that just now. I had to come here to get the type of person I need. Someone of bloody skill, but also integrity. Perhaps the kind who might leap to someone's defense. I have a charge who needs passage from the city. If you are willing and capable, meet me at my safe house nearby. I just saved you in an alley, and suddenly we're in business? You're in Lowtown. What grand scheme could I be interrupting? Varnell! Not so helpless, I see. I hope you will come. This matter only grows more urgent with time. no doubt yep the blood mage capital of Thetis fabulous Kirkwall now that's just rude what are they trying to do ruin my boots done so that to do it Distinctive ring. Can I have it? A 
severed hand, a ring, and a pile of bones. Emmerich will want to see this. And I should bring the ring to Ghislaine. It might belong to Nanette. I'm sure the husband's going to be devastated. Nice to see you too. I thank you for coming. This matter is delicate, and I need someone of limited notoriety who will not link this to me. It is an escort, but I think you will agree the nature of the party makes this unique. Time is wasting. Who is going where? My name is Sister Patrice. I have assumed a burden of charity. This is my charge. A Cerebas? Here? Would even a Templar bind a mage like this? A survivor of infighting with their Talvashoth outcasts? I call him Katojin, a bridge between worlds. The Viscount and others feel that peace begins with appeasement. This mage would likely be returned to his brutal kin. He can serve a better purpose. I want him free. He must be guided from the city without alerting his people. Or being seen in my care. I've had dealings with the Kunari leader. He'd want to know of this. You have dealt with their leader? If you have interacted with Kunari, you know how they treat those who leave their heathen order. The Arashok would doom this poor creature. But knowing them is useful. If they challenged you, attacking an ally would only confirm their barbarism. You are still right for the task. If you are so intent on this, why not use Chantry resources? My order will soon realize the Kunari presence is more than a test of faith. It is an open challenge. But for now, I must act on my own. Helping this mage shows how Kunari heresy cannot be ignored. His flight is vital. Is freedom so helpful? A new life with that collar seems doubtful. And yet it is more than he has. My reach is limited. His struggle is his own. It just seems like releasing a bird. Cage and all. We do what we can to step toward what is right. That must be enough. You don't just stumble on something. Someone like this. For all their blasphemous certainty, the Kunari do have deserters. Those who seek freedom are hunted mercilessly. Tal Vashoth. They seem to accept the role. Even their rebels conform. Savonel observed one of their bloody exchanges. This poor mage was the only survivor. And you think this mage was being hunted? I am certain no thinking creature would willingly submit to this. If he was not running before, he has seized the opportunity now. How wrong she is. I can get him out of Kirkwall. He is a bit conspicuous for the streets, though. That is obviously not an option. You must avoid incident with the guards. I cannot be linked to this. This mage will be a fine example of how cruel Kunari are, even to their own. But only if this plays out just so. The passage here leads to the warrens of the Undercity. It is dangerous, but that is why you were hired. Good luck.
come now, Varric. You're all for making coin. Feared by all, but there's no shortage of fools with coin who want to test it. What is this thing? Call it like a dumb lord's bitch. You're some sort of canary lover. Maybe I should get rid of you and see who will pay the most for your pet. Uh, I don't think it likes you threatening its master. Maybe we let this one pass. A voice of reason. What's he doing with you? You lot think you're so damn right. Buying everything, running free marches like me into our own sewers. You want us bound, like this thing? I'll see you dead first. By the void! Kill it! Kill them all! Get the idea, Kunari, Katojin, whatever. Calm yourself. <laughs> Did you react because your lead was threatened? <laughs> I know that kind of blind instinct. It is hard to judge how much control he has. <laughs> I'm getting you out of here before you help again. <laughs> Still clear as a bell. Great.
I bet the knight commander here would like to uh, collar up all the mages in Kirkwall like that. You will hold Basra Vashidan. I am Arvarad, and I claim possession of Sarabas at your heel. The members of his Karatom were killed by Talbashoth, but their disposal leads only here, to Sarabas and you. I just got here, coming from the other way. If there was a trail, I didn't leave it. Yet you are here with Sarabas. The crime is his freedom, his leash held by unknowing Basra. We will not allow that danger to continue. Let your own mages doom you. Sarabas will be properly confined. And if he doesn't want to go back? Sarabas, show that your will remains bound to the Kuhn. <laughs> he has only followed you because he wants to be led. He has allowed no other purpose. The sister called him Katojin. You are Sarabas? Sarabas is his role and his name, as you understand it. It is the accusation and acknowledgement of being a mage. And you are Avarad? My role is to hold the leash and hunt the Grey Ones who leave the Kuhn. Or Baz who have not yet been enlightened. He is bound and abused, and you want him caged. Why? The power that he has, that all Cerebos have, draws from chaos and demons. They can never be in control. So you fear them? We leash Cerebos because they are dangerous and contagious. Not even your Templars fully grasp that threat. My job was to get him out of the city. If he wants to go back to you, that's his business. You show an unusual ability to reason, Basra. Serabas, Neira Akun Ebrakata Avarad! You are certain? <laughs> then we will do it here. Basvarad, you led well. I thank your intent. Panahedan, as you find the Kuhn. You should be honored by this action, Basra. It is his last. Trust the zealot. He lost his lead. The risk of corruption was certain. But he has owned his death by honoring you. He knows the Kuhn once more. As will you. You tried to kill me after everything we've been through. An uncollared Cerebos spoke to you. You were already exposed, but there's no way to know what demon may have written his words. Killing you is demanded, but the respect of Sarabas has granted honor. Be grateful. 
Not every neck earns the ceremonial cut. from the start. Patrice at a trail. Why arrange this only to subvert it? I need our... If only we could kill her when we got back to town. Save ourselves a lot of hassle in Act 2. Leave nothing. It must be clean, with no ties. It... Well, my helpful associate from the streets. You took the canary from the city? Without incident? You know what we faced. Mind your tongue, Ferelden. Please, do speak your mind. Don't string me along. You know that I know. Whether you believe it or not, I wished you no harm. That might have been useful for someone, but still regrettable. A massacre of citizens protecting a slave might have forced the Chantry to doubt appeasement, to see the Kunari for the monsters they are. Perhaps finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. If such a plot existed, I see how it might be disagreeable to you. Your Katojan chose to go back and be killed, rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape, just as I would. My pity is genuine, 
But they are not like us. You risked my life. Perhaps I should return the favor. No doubt you would prove a challenge for my guard, but I will not offer the chance today. Violence here serves no purpose. I accept the grim necessities of standing in the Maker's name, but I will not waste his gifts. You did better than you were asked. I will honor that arrangement. We will have nothing more to do with each other. I won't forget this, sister. Take your coin. Disappear back into Lowtown. Rest assured, I will not make the mistake of looking for help outside the faithful again. The stakes, eternity, are just too high. We'll be hearing from that one again. Another messenger came by with a letter. It's on the desk. I've got the coin, so I will not be needing that quest. I think this is a picture of Mother. She looks like you. Where did you get that? Was it at the estate? Let me see. Is it? I think this is Mother's betrothal portrait from when she was supposed to marry the Comte. Look! You can see the ring. I suppose it would have been a bit awkward to take it with her. I know she loved Father. I guess I just wondered if she'd have been happier if he hadn't been a mage. If I wasn't a mage. I know that made it hard for Mother. It's nice to have a reminder of a time when she still knew how to smile. When I told your grandmother I was marrying your father, she threatened to disown me. She said my children would be mongrels. My father wanted to lock me in, but she told him it's her life, let her ruin it. I wrote to her when each of you were born. She never wrote back. I'm glad she didn't die hating me. Your mother's dead. Let it go. When I was a girl, your grandmother was the young, beautiful, noble mother all my friends wished they had. She might have had a hard time accepting it at first, but she would have loved you, all three of you. Carver, he was such a little boy. Never had a knee that wasn't scraped or trousers without holes. He was so young. Never got to be the man he wanted. I just keep thinking there's something we could have done. It's killing me. I, I remember that awful creature reaching down at 18 years of loving and feeding and raising and... That was it. At least you're past the it's all your fault thing. I'm sorry, love. I was distraught. I never really believed that. It's just... I miss him. There were four of us when the blight began. It will never be over while there are just three. I've written to the Viscount. I have an audience for after Bartram's expedition leaves. I couldn't do anything for Carver. But with luck, I can at least give us a home. Now we just have to go to the gallows and uh, tell the Templar of our uh, 
murder investigation. Looks like we got one more fetch quest to turn in at Lowtown too. So we'll do that now, get it over with. I'm perfectly content at the moment. So that's you smiling. Glad you clarified that. I'd never have known. Okay, to the gallows. Famous knight. Everyone always brings up the name. I've not heard of Sir Aveline. Is she very famous? Really? They don't tell of her glorious downfall into winter. Not to slaves. Pardon me for saying so, but thank the Maker for that. Recognize your mage. This was left in the foundry you mentioned in your notes. I was also attacked by shades. These are human bones. Then there is no chance of finding Meren alive, or any of the others. I saw someone leaving the scene, but they got away. I'm sorry. It was more than I accomplished. My people have been slow to react, but this needs official support. I will bring this to the city guard immediately. It should be enough to convince them the disappearances are worth investigating. Just 